This SKF training film is about deep groove ball bearings. The deep groove ball bearing is the most commonly used bearing in industry, being ideal for light loads and high speeds. It consists of an inner and outer ring and a set of balls separated by a cage. This bearing can accommodate radial and a combination of light radial and axial loads. The bearing can be supplied in an open condition or with one or two seals or metal shields. Completely sealed or shielded bearings are pre-greased during the manufacturing process and cannot be re-lubricated. They are commonly used in small electric motors, gearboxes, conveyor support rollers and similar equipment. For the dismounting of deep groove ball bearings, a number of methods are available depending on the setup of the bearing. The most frequently used method is for bearings with an interference fit on the shaft. For this application, a jaw-type puller can be used. The jaws are located behind the bearing, and by rotating the puller and the outer bearing ring, the bearing can be easily dismounted from the shaft, with minimum damage to the raceways. In applications where it's not possible to get behind the bearing, SKF provides a special puller kit. Select the parts according to the chart on the lid of the box. The puller is assembled by placing the specially designed tips between the inner and outer raceways, ensuring pulling forces are on the outer bearing track. With this method, the bearing should never be reused. In applications where the only access is through the bore of the bearing, SKF provides a split collet impact puller. The correct collet size is obtained from the chart which is fixed to the lid of the box. The collet is placed through the bore of the bearing and expanded by tightening the collet nut. The slide hammer is then screwed to the collet and the bearing dismounted by impacting the slide hammer against the handle. The most common way of mounting small deep groove ball bearings is in a cold condition, using the special SKF fitting tool. The correct parts are identified from the chart on the inside of the toolbox. Do not remove the bearing from its box until everything is ready. Before mounting deep groove ball bearings, care must be taken to ensure that the shaft and housing are not damaged or worn. The use of some light oil on the shaft will assist the fitting. For medium to large deep groove ball bearings, heat is often used to expand the bearing inner ring. SKF provides a wide range of bearing induction heaters for this purpose. In this instance, the Scorpio induction heater is used. Do not heat the bearing above 110 degrees centigrade and always use protective gloves. The bearing should be held against the shaft's shoulder until it cools sufficiently to grip the shaft. When mechanically mounting deep groove ball bearings, damage to the bearing can occur if the mounting force is applied to the non-locating bearing ring, as this would allow the shock load to be transmitted through the rolling elements. The force must always be applied to the ring with the interference fit. Deep groove ball bearings are supplied with a range of predetermined radial internal clearances. Normal clearance is not marked. Bearings with a greater than normal clearance are marked with a C3 mark. Always make sure the replacement bearing is identical and has the same internal clearance as the original. <laughs>